sound so much. Bro, is that a T-Rex? Is that a T-Rex? That is. <laughs> Bro, this dude <laughs> shot a racing is legit. Yo, what is that? Is that it's supercharged? Yeah. That's a T-Rex? T-Rex. Let's go. Let's go when on the green, light turns bro. green. Go on green. He's probably butt hurt. Oh, man. What are the freaking odds, bro? That was awesome. <laughs> What's up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're here visiting my buddy Moose at his shop, M-Tech Performance. They just picked up a brand new 2022 BMW M3 X-Drive. They've already started tearing into it and done some modifications. We're gonna do some before and after dyno. We're gonna do some draggy testing. And shout out to today's video sponsor, Carly, but we'll get into that later on. Let's go check out the M3. Moose, what's up, my man? What up, Javier? Nice to see you, brother. You as well, brother. How's everything? Thanks for having us out here. No, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Dude, that thing is a beauty. Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys just picked it up. Give, give us a walk around. This thing, uh, so this is the new body style, right? Yeah, so we just got it. This is the new G80 M3. It's a 2022. Dude, Honestly, I'm going to go straight what? to the back because my favorite part about this seat is the back. If you see, the whole entire back is carbon fiber. Wow. So pretty badass, man. That's a that's a serious seat. Yeah, man. These seats are much lighter than the comfort seats. Man, this thing is sweet. So let me ask you, these things make what 500 to the crank stock? Correct. They're advertised right there. Um, we put this car on the dyno. It ended up making 485 and 490 um, in its stock form. Oh, so that's more like 550 at the crank. Something like yeah, that. it is. So right now, this car has some basic modifications done to it. Um, we have a JB4 from Burger Tuning, and we also have the Burger Tuning air intakes. Off the shelf map that's loaded on the car currently, which is map five, which is E30 at 28 PSI. Car does have E30 in it right now. And then we also have our M-Tech Performance downpipes on the car. So we haven't put it on the dyno yet since we did the downpipes, um, but with the JB4 and with the intake, we did make 555 wheel horsepower. I guess we can throw it on the dyno today to see what difference the downpipes made. And I brought a draggy with me, so let's yeah. uh, let's get some stats let's on it. Let's do it, man. Let's have fun. All right, man. All right, so we got this thing on the dyno. Yes, sir. We got it all strapped. We're getting ready to get this thing in dyno mode now. We're gonna see what it makes off the shelf. E30, map five, 28 psi. Finally got this car all figured out. We updated to the latest firmware. This car made some massive gains with the latest firmware. It's pretty. It's pretty wild how much yeah, it, how much it, power from stock it picked up. Bro, very impressive. If you look here, 490 is what it made stock. Here's with the bolt-on parts and the old version firmware 557, and then with the new latest firmware, we made 593. So I mean that's massive from stock to the latest here. It's really wild to just see through the you know, through the mid-range, how much I mean, power it's really picking here, up. Here at the mid-range at 4,000 RPM, we went from 390 to 446. That's like 56 wheel horsepower. I mean, it pretty much carries that all the way through the RPM and even grows a little bigger here at 5,000 RPM. But the ride we're about to go for now should feel like a new car. Dude, I don't know. You think this thing will hit a 10 second pass on the street? Man, if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to call BMW and Lemon Law. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's go make some rips of this thing. Let's do it, man. Let's have some fun. All right, guys. So we're going to take a quick break for today's video sponsor, Carly. So this Carly OBD2 device connects via Bluetooth to your phone. It allows you to track live stats. You can run diagnostics. You can clear codes. If you're buying a used car, you can actually check to see if the mileage has been tampered with, which is so cool. And you can also unlock some sick hidden features in your car. Carly works on a wide variety of makes and models. And today, we're going to be testing it on this G80 M3. So 
when they had the car on the dyno, it actually ended up going into limp mode because they forgot to put it in dyno mode. So we'll actually be able to plug the Carly in and clear that code so we can go make some rips. So now we take this, plug it into the OBD2 port. So you open the Carly app, hit connect, let it do its thing. All right, so now we got the Carly connected to the M3 and you can do all sorts of cool stuff here. So you can do a health check, use car mileage check, customization, AKA coding. We'll get into that in a sec. You can do a bunch of cool stuff like turn off your seatbelt, uh, the seatbelt ding. Like if passengers doesn't have the seatbelt on, seat on, we definitely recommend wearing your seatbelts, ladies and gents, <laughs> but you can turn it off if you want. So first things first, we're gonna run a health check so we can get that code cleared. All right, so the Carly found some issues here and we're gonna clear the issues. So clearing is complete and it's out of limp mode. All right, so we got a bunch of different coding options here. Let's start with a popular one, seatbelt warnings. Select off on all the options there and hit code now. Select the box, let it do its thing. All right, guys, now that you can see what the Carly can do, make sure you check out TRC's link in the description below so you can save some money on your own Carly device. Yeah, so let's see what this, uh, this all-wheel drive M3 is all about. Let's do it, man, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready, man. So you pretty much just hold the brake down all the way to the floor. Make sure you're in first gear, make sure DSC's off, floor the gas pedal, repairing launch control, active, go. <laughs> everything in the car fly to the back seat yeah. oh my god dude that all-wheel drive's no joke no nah, it's not <laughs> and it's got i saw it has the the toyota r triple eights on it yeah just between that on the street like one six time. on the street yeah <laughs> that felt like a one six yeah. <laughs> man that's a blast i'd be doing that every stoplight so this is officially a 10 second car on the street yeah officially <laughs> that's I so cool it. is like a Tesla, like that much. Yeah, I mean, we, like honestly, it's got to do like a zero to 60, like close to three seconds, right? That's even, wild. Even the 911 Turbo S, it's, they claim like 29, 298. So I mean, this car is pretty much next to everything. Zero yeah. to 60. Gangster, <laughs> so sick. night cruise get some night rollers get some b-roll this thing looks sick at night the interior lighting and everything is awesome Yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. 
definitely feel it. <laughs> this thing makes all the right sounds, man. Yeah. So we got the GoPro head strap on, getting some cool sounds and sights for you guys. Figured change it up, do a little bit of nighttime stuff. So this thing weighed what, 10.9 and 128 today, huh? 10.9 and 126 today it was, or 125 with the heat. Yo, what is that? Is that it's supercharged? Yeah. That's a TRX? TRX. Oh shit. Let's go Let's go on green, bro. Green. Go on green. Jump on he got the jump. I didn't want to gas and go. I wanted to like do the race launch and get some boost. <laughs> I didn't want to let the T Rex beat us. My man. Oh man. What are the freaking odds, bro? That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was hoping he'd follow us. He's probably butt hurt. What do those things make? Those are pretty much Hellcat seven, engines, right? Yeah, 700 horsepower. Probably That's like gangster. 6, 650, 680 until the wheels or something like that. That thing left, but then you ate yeah, him up. It did. <laughs> 